Moreover, the journey of this English gentleman is one of perseverance, an unyielding spirit. Though not born into greatness, he found his path through sheer determination. His cockney background adds a unique charm to his story and the challenges he faced, like living without a toilet for 18 years, only highlight his resilience. The actor's journey to stardom serves as an example of how grit can lead to success. From humble beginnings to becoming one of the most celebrated talents in the industry, his life is a narrative filled with unexpected twists that inspire many. His experiences remind us that greatness often stems from overcoming adversity, painting a compelling picture of what it truly means to rise from grass to grace. The path he took was anything but ordinary, filled with moments that would astonish even the most seasoned observers of film history. Furthermore, Michael Caine is more like a household name in the British entertainment scene, and later in Hollywood for more than half a century. He has grown in skill and popularity and has been adequately compensated in terms of the countless accolades that have continued to be his career watchword. His talent, of course, did not escape Hollywood where he's admired for his amiable Cockney shows. However, the story of the actor's rise is much more than just luck or talent. He faced significant hardships that shaped his character and determination. Growing up in a modest environment, he experienced times of deep poverty that would challenge anyone's spirit. The struggle for survival went beyond mere financial difficulties. At times, he found himself locked in a closet for weekends, a stark reminder of the tough situations he had to endure. Days would pass with little to eat, yet these experiences forged a resilience in him that is reflected in his work. The actor's journey exemplifies how obstacles can lead to greater achievements and highlight the strength found in adversity. Each challenge he faced became a stepping stone, pushing him toward greatness that many would come to admire. This classic story of perseverance serves as an inspiration, illustrating that even the darkest clouds can reveal silver linings. Michael Caine is an iconic actor who rose to fame in the 1960s. He has starred in many classic films and television shows, including The Italian Job, Kit Carter, and Batman. His acting career spans over five decades, and he has received numerous awards for his work. Furthermore, Michael Caine, with his glasses and working-class model of delivery, made himself a hero with films like The Eye Priest File and Alfie. He became a metaphor for the cultural confusion of 1960s British society. Caine had a solid foundation in repertory theater and made over a hundred appearances in stage shows before becoming a major hit. This worked to his advantage, as his versatility made him a choice performer on screen and in theaters. With an unparalleled ability to captivate audiences, Michael Caine, the actor, showcased his remarkable versatility throughout his illustrious career. One particularly noteworthy transformation was his transition from the tenacious mobster in the gripping film Get Carter. In this classic, his portrayal added depth to the story, leaving an indelible mark on cinema history. His next milestone was as a treacherous soldier in The Man Who Would Be King, demonstrating a range that few actors can claim. Kane's charm extended even to lighter roles, as evidenced by his warm-hearted doctor in The Cider House Rules, which had him delightfully knitting a tapestry of emotion with his screen presence. It wasn't just dramatic roles that Kane excelled in. His interpretation of the cunning trickster in Dirty Rotten Scoundrels was a masterclass in delving into the intricacies of character manipulation. Each of these roles in Kane's portfolio displayed his prowess as a thespian, proving his adaptability to a wide array of characters. Audiences were continually intrigued by his ability to decipher various shades of human nature, making him an endearing presence in the world of cinema. His performances, each step in time, have woven a captivating tapestry in the realm of acting, a testament to his enduring legacy. From the gritty underworld to the heartwarming medical dramas, Kane's work transcended the boundaries of genre, leaving a rich and complex legacy that older adults alike can cherish. As we reflect on his body of work, we are reminded of an actor who truly sculpted a multifaceted career, etched in the annals of history with a vibrant and captivating array of performances. In the ever-evolving world of film, Michael Caine's contributions continue to resonate long after the credits have rolled. Moreover, his portrayal of a learned professor in Educating Rita stands out as a highlight of his career. The actor brought depth and warmth to the role, making the character relatable and memorable. Critics praised how authentically he embodied this professor, showcasing both his wisdom and vulnerabilities. Similarly, in Dress to Kill, he took on the challenging role of a killer psychologist. Here, he presented a chilling and compelling performance that kept audiences on the edge of their seats. 
Reviewers acknowledged that he realistically captured the complexities of this disturbing character. Through these performances, the actor has shown that he can realistically portray some of the best-known characters in fiction works, leaving a lasting impression on viewers and enhancing the film's narratives. Furthermore, the actor's characteristic performance is always making the audience have a deep self-reflection of themselves as he presents them with the realities of life. It seems his realistic acting style and ability to connect with his audience earned him a reputation for being sociable with all classes of people on the social ladder regardless of his celebrity status. With an unflappable charm and a knack for capturing the essence of every character he portrayed, Michael Caine's attitude towards humanity was forged in the depths of adversity. Born into humble beginnings, his early experiences amidst poverty were a formative force that shaped his worldview. The actor, who emerged from the grid of London streets, understood the struggles of those at the lower rungs, which in turn fueled his empathy and relatability. Throughout his illustrious career spanning over six decades, more than 160 films bear witness to his ability to portray the full spectrum of human emotion. In each of these masterpieces, his performance style resonated with audiences, as if speaking directly from his own experiences. His nuanced portrayals reflected a deep connection to humanity, an authenticity that earned him a place among the rarest of British film icons. Kane's nuanced portrayal of characters, be it a gritty working-class hero or a sophisticated gentleman, demonstrated a profound respect for his fellow actors and the stories they share. His attitude was a testament to the power of resilience the potential for upward mobility, and the beauty of the human spirit. His humility and vulnerability were evident on screen, making audiences feel seen and heard in a way that few actors can achieve. Auditors often remarked on the actor's ability to portray the ordinary and extraordinary with equal conviction, drawing them into the narratives like old friends. His performances transcended time and geography, touching the hearts of people worldwide, and ingrained his name in the collective consciousness. In the realm of cinema, Kane's attitude towards humanity became a beacon, inspiring others to remember that greatness often stems from the most unexpected beginnings. Through his portrayal of wide-eyed innocence or weary wisdom, Kane left an indelible mark on the industry and the hearts of those who watched. As the years went by, his films and shows proved to be timeless classics, a tangible reminder that the actor's unyielding connection to humanity endures even as the world around him evolved. In a world where fame can elevate or corrupt, Michael Caine remained a grounded and empathetic figure. His attitude towards humanity, shaped by his own harsh beginnings, serves as a compelling testament to the enduring power of art that reflects the complexities of our shared human experience. As audiences continue to cherish his legacy, the actor's remarkable rapport with fellow beings remains a captivating facet in the tapestry of cinema history. Michael Caine, the renowned British actor, has built an impressive career that spans over six decades. He has been nominated for an Academy Award for acting in five different decades, a feat achieved by only five male talents. This is a testament to his enduring presence and consistent progression in the industry. Throughout his career, Kane has received numerous accolades, including three Oscar nominations. His first nomination came in 1966 for his role in Alfie, a British comedy drama film, despite not winning the award. This recognition established him as a serious contender in Hollywood. Kane's second Oscar nomination came in 1972 for his role in Sleuth, a thriller film where he starred alongside Laurence Olivier. The actor's third nomination, which finally earned him the coveted Academy Award, was for his performance in Hannah and Her Sisters, a Woody Allen film released in 1986. In addition to his Oscar nominations, Kane has also received five BAFTA nominations and two wins, he first won the BAFTA Award in 1967 for Alfie, and then again in 1983 for Educating Rita. This British accolade further solidified his status as a respected actor in his home country. Across the Atlantic, Kane has also been recognized by the Golden Globe Awards, earning four nominations and two wins. His first win was in 1967 for Alfie, and the second was in 1987 for Hannah and her sisters. These recognitions are not limited to the English-speaking world. In 1999, Kane received the French Legion of Honor, recognizing his significant contributions to cinema. Moreover, in 2000, he was knighted by Queen Elizabeth II, becoming Sir Michael Kane. Kane's impressive list of awards and recognitions illustrates his long-standing impact on the film industry. His consistent nominations and wins across continents 
and awards bodies speak to his universal appeal and talent. Michael Caine was born in 1933 to working class parents. His mother, Ellen Marie, worked as a cook and housekeeper, while his father, Maurice Michael White, was a fish market porter. Despite their financial struggles, Michael's parents were able to provide for him and his older sister. In 1945, the family moved to London where Michael attended a local school. He later attended the University of Oxford, but dropped out after two years to pursue a career in acting. As a young boy, Michael Caine grew up learning his mother's Protestant faith. His father did all he could to put food on their table, sometimes resorting to desperate measures to avoid letting his family go hungry. There were times when his father would come home with just enough fish to keep their bodies and souls together. Perhaps young Michael got tired of the smell of fish, or the excessive consumption of it made him tell his fans that, as of 15 years old, he never wanted to see fish again. When the war broke, little Kane was hurriedly separated from his parents and abandoned a hundred miles north to Norfolk. Not aged enough to be part of the battle, Kane had settled in a strange home with the usual fear of the unknown amidst the violence ravaging the region. This experience undoubtedly shaped the actor's resilience and determination, laying the foundation for his future success in the film industry. Furthermore, those he lived with during the war created an uncomfortable environment for him. It was a difficult time for everyone, but the family he was placed with was specially unhappy about having a young cockney boy around. While they accepted that he was just a child, they had strict expectations that he must follow. If he did not obey their orders, he faced severe punishment. The atmosphere was filled with tension, and happiness was hard to come by. Each day felt like a struggle for acceptance in a home, where he seemed to be an unwelcome guest, making the ordeal even more challenging amidst the turmoil of war. Moreover, life turned into a nightmare as the punishment continued. Was it merely a punishment or an expression of anger? Little Kane and another young boy, both facing similar fates, found themselves restricted from playing freely. The custodian did not trust them to roam around the house. Each weekend when their caretaker left, they faced the harsh reality of being locked in a closet. From Friday until Monday morning, they endured the confinement. The darkness felt heavy, and the hours stretched endlessly as whispers of laughter and freedom echoed just beyond the door. Boredom turned to despair as both boys questioned why they suffered in silence. The experience forged a bond between them, a shared understanding of vulnerability and fear. Often, they would share stories to keep their spirits alive and imagine bright horizons outside those four walls. They dreamed of the day when they could play freely, without the burden of mistrust hanging over them. Each passing weekend served as a reminder of their plight, the cruel twist of fate that held them captive, leaving them to yearn for a taste of freedom and innocence lost. After the incident with the pork pies and water, the actor's mother, Ellen, discovered the mistreatment and confronted the responsible woman. In a fit of rage, she gave the woman a severe beating, the altercation was so serious that the actor's mother narrowly avoided imprisonment for the regrettable assault. After the war, the actor found some relief as the dreadful times had finally come to an end. The government had relocated his family to a makeshift structure near the Elephant and Castle area of London, following the severe destruction of their house during the war. Michael Caine's father had served in the military, and by the time he was discharged, most of the houses in their neighborhood were destroyed. Despite the hardships, the actor has shared that his family was fortunate to have a roof over their heads. Unlike many others who were less fortunate, the government provided them with a prefabricated house, which was a small victory for the family after the long years of hardship and loss. The war had a profound impact on Kane and his family, as it did on many others. The destruction and loss were overwhelming, and the aftermath left many families struggling to rebuild their lives. However, the makeshift structure provided some element of comfort and stability, allowing the family to start anew. The actor has often spoken about his experiences growing up in post-war London and how it shaped his perspective on life. Despite the challenges, he remained optimistic and used his experiences to fuel his passion for acting. Through his work, he was able to transcend the hardships of his past and create a name for himself in the world of film. In conclusion, the incident of being relocated to a makeshift structure after the war was a significant turning point in the actor's life. Although the war had brought immense hardship and loss, the new beginning provided some comfort and stability. It was a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the ability to overcome adversity. Furthermore, Michael Caine has shared that he 
and his parents lived in the prefabricated house that was allocated to them as part of the temporal effort to accommodate displaced persons. In Kane's opinion, the prefabs, as they were known, were intended to be temporary homes while the city of London was considerably reconstructed. However, he and his family ended up sheltering there for 18 faithful years. However, Michael Kane hinted that living in such a small room without a toilet was a luxury for his family. Young Kane didn't mind, even though he had no better choice. He was at home and happy in the prefab, even though it came without a lavatory facility. Transition despite the regrettable childhood circumstances, the actor might have been inspired to approach everything about life with seriousness. Not even the environment he was coming from could deter him from joining the rest of his mates to display his talents. One skill that got his interest was stage performance, without knowing that acting is his natural calling. However, one cannot overlook the early moments that shaped the actor's journey. At just 10 years old, he was absolutely eager to perform, and took the stage for a village school play. During this performance of Cinderella, he created a scene that was not only hilarious, but also eye-opening, giving him a glimpse of what it meant to be an actor. As he stepped into the role of the ugly stepsister's father, he noticed that all eyes were on him, accompanied by unsettling laughter from the audience. Baffled by the unexpected response, he soon realized that the laughter did not stem from his character, but from a mishap with his costume. In a moment of panic, he discovered that he had not zipped up his trousers, which explained the audience's amusement. This humorous incident marked a pivotal point in his early life, showing him the power of performance and the connection between an actor and their audience. Such moments of embarrassment often lead to deeper understanding and growth in an aspiring entertainer. However, the debut for the actor was not exactly glamorous. He recognized early on that preparation is key to succeeding on stage. He learned that it is important to be ready, both in words and appearance, before performing in front of an audience. Years later, he shared how the laughter from the audience sparked something in him. It was not merely about the laughter itself, but about the joy it brought him. The actor felt a connection to the crowd and realized he had the ability to entertain them. This experience made him consider an acting career, yet it was not the laughter alone that drew him in. Instead, a romantic fantasy played a significant role in shaping his path. Passion for storytelling and a desire for performance may have guided him more than just the thrill of receiving laughter from the crowd. Moreover, four years after his debut, the actor discovered a new affection in his life. Beautiful girls in his school drama class at Wilson School in Camberwell, he began to notice several cute girls he would like to kiss. Having watched actors kiss beautiful ladies on stage, he felt a spark of excitement mixed with a tinge of nervousness. He dreamed of becoming an actor himself, thinking that if he succeeded, he might get the chance to share a kiss with one of those charming girls. However, the truth was he wasn't sure if he could muster the confidence to make it happen on his own. The thoughts danced in his mind, creating a blend of hope and hesitation about what the future might hold for him in the world of acting and romance. Furthermore, Kane completed the school certificate's examination with six subject credits. After finishing his studies, he worked briefly as clerical staff and a messenger for a movie company. His early experiences helped him understand the film industry better. However, this phase of his life was soon interrupted when he was drafted for national military service with the Royal Fusiliers. This service became a significant part of his journey, shaping him in many ways before he ventured into the acting career. However, the actor's early experiences were shaped significantly by his military service. He found himself in Korea, witnessing the harsh realities of life under a communist regime. The brutal conditions and the intense first-hand combat he faced forced him to grow up quickly. Coming from a working-class background, he had once nursed some sympathies for communism, perhaps viewing it as a potential solution to the struggles of ordinary people. Yet, as he observed the true horrors of the system, his perspective shifted profoundly. The brutality and oppression he witnessed stripped away any romantic notions he held about communism, leaving him with a clearer understanding of freedom and human rights. After returning to his homeland, he carried with him a liberated mind, forever changed by those experiences. After the war, Michael Caine's troubles were far from over. It was a time for body cleansing as he and some other officers who returned from the war went down with a strange illness. Kane later said it was cerebral malaria. The disease did not show any mercy to his body, and not much help came from the government either. Kane and other patients were supposed to be treated by an American medic identified as Colonel Solomon, a man who, rather than focus on curing the sick patients, 
was using cane and others as an experimental tool to popularize cerebral malaria, a disease that was scantily known at the time. After his ordeal in the hands of Solomons, Michael Caine said they were all strapped to beds and left with nothing but constant injections that kept them calm. It was a near-death situation, with Caine having a glimpse of life in purgatory for 11 regrettable days. They remained tied to their beds, and it was nothing but a miracle that he survived the suffering. He was discharged after the illness disappeared. Moreover, experience taught him a lesson about life, leading him to appreciate it more deeply. He realized that it was time to restart with his acting career still very much on his mind. The actor spent countless nights and days memorizing lines for various auditions. This challenging period was not easy, and to cope with his frustration, he often leaned on alcohol, treating it like a trusted companion. It helped to ease the burden of uncertainty as he navigated the ups and downs of pursuing his passion. The grind of the audition process was tough, yet it strengthened his resolve to find fulfillment in his craft and treasure every moment in life Transitioned despite his successful career, Michael Caine struggled with alcohol. He drank vodka heavily, consuming as much as a bottle or two daily. Later in life, he alluded that the best research for playing a drunk is being a British actor for 20 years. Hinting about his journey, Caine endured all the disappointments before he got the much-desired career green light. Consequently, to cement his new image, he needed a fresh name. Different from Morris Michael White Jr., he decided on Michael White a name that felt right for the new path he was taking. His big break came when he featured in Wuthering Heights, where he took on the role of the drunken master. This performance opened many doors for him, leading to a steady gig with a theater company in Suffolk. As he immersed himself in the craft, he found a true passion and identity on the big stage, helping to shape his career and future roles in the industry. Michael Caine, in his early years, had a teenage dream of meeting beautiful ladies. This dream became a reality when he met and fell in love with the beautiful Patricia Haynes. The romance between the two led to his first marriage. However, this union soon hit a brick wall and ended just as quickly as it had started. The dream that once seemed so promising had turned into a fleeting memory. But this was just the beginning for the actor, as he would go on to have a successful career in film and television. Despite the setbacks in his personal life, Michael Caine's professional journey was just getting started. He would be filled with ups and downs, but his talent and determination would always shine through. Patricia Haynes was not just another pretty face to Michael Caine. She was the one who held a special place in his heart. Their love story was a whirlwind romance, but it was not meant to last. Despite the brief union, Michael Caine's first marriage left a lasting impact on him. It was a learning experience, one that taught him about love and loss. The actor would later reflect on this period in his life, stating that he had learned from his mistakes and was ready to move on. The end of his first marriage was a difficult time for Michael Caine, but he did not let it discourage him. Instead, he channeled his energy into his work, focusing on his craft and honing his skills as an actor. This decision would prove to be a wise one, as he would soon become one of the most respected and admired actors in the industry. Michael Caine's first marriage may have been short-lived, but it was a significant chapter in his life. It was a time of love and loss of dreams and realities. The actor's experience in his first marriage shaped him as a person and as an artist. Although it ended in heartbreak, it was a stepping stone to greater things. Michael Caine would go on to have a successful career and a fulfilling personal life, but his first marriage would always hold a special place in his heart. Michael Caine, a name synonymous with the world of acting, had an interesting start to his career. Without any formal acting lessons, he found himself learning and growing in the field as he lived the life of an actor. It was around the late 1950s when he discovered that the name Michael White had already been taken by another actor. With the need to quickly come up with a new name, he conjured the name Kane. As he continued to act, he found that there was always something new to learn. Each role he took on presented its own unique challenges and opportunities for growth. He embraced these challenges, constantly striving to improve his craft and deliver the best performance possible. Despite the lack of formal training, Michael Caine's natural talent and dedication to his craft shone through in every performance. He quickly gained recognition for his work, becoming a well-known and respected figure in the acting world. Throughout his career, Michael Caine has taken on a wide variety of roles, showcasing his versatility and range as an actor. From classic films to modern shows, he has left his mark on the industry and continues to be a source of inspiration for aspiring actors. In the end, it was his love for acting 
and his willingness to learn that set Michael Caine apart. With no formal training, he was able to build a successful career and establish himself as a true icon in the world of film and television. Michael Caine, a well-known actor, had already established a name for himself, but was still on the lookout for a bigger break. During this time, he formed a close friendship with another Cockney talent in London's theatre scene, Terence Stamp. The duo made a great pair, always on the hunt for roles in Daybreak, and spending their nights drowning their sorrows in alcohol. Not long after, Peter O'Toole, a bigger name in the industry, joined their league. O'Toole introduced Kane to a world of distress, but it was all part of the job. Kane's friendship with Stamp and O'Toole was a significant one, as they supported each other through the ups and downs of their careers. Through it all, Michael Kane's talent and determination shone through, earning him the recognition he deserved. His career and friendships are a testament to his perseverance and the power of supportive relationships in the entertainment industry. Michael Caine, the renowned actor, was known for his love of partying and excesses. At one of his dinner parties, he invited the talented Peter O'Toole. After the party, Caine found himself waking up in a strange bed, completely unaware of how he got there. He looked at the clock and was shocked to see that it was already 5 p.m. the following day. It turned out that Caine had spent an entire day sleeping. After what must have been an epic night of partying, he was shocked at the amount of time he had lost but he couldn't help but laugh at the absurdity of the situation. Kane was no stranger to partying and excesses, but even he was taken aback by the scale of O'Toole's indulgence. Compared to his host, Kane was still a baby when it came to drinking and partying. Despite the craziness of that night, Kane and O'Toole remained good friends, and they continued to party together on many occasions. But Kane never forgot the lesson he learned that night, that when it comes to partying with O'Toole, it's always better to pace yourself. Michael Caine, a seasoned actor known for his distinguished career, once shared an experience that served as a personal warning against the use of certain substances. The actor, who has been open about his social drinking habits, had a different experience with marijuana. He admitted to trying the drug, but the outcome was far from enjoyable. In fact, it left him in a state that was anything but discreet. After smoking, he found himself in a fit of continuous laughter for five hours straight. His appearance became so disheveled that no taxi was willing to stop for him, leaving him to make the long trek home alone. This experience, while humorous in retrospect, was a turning point for Kane. He decided then and there that he would not be associating with marijuana again. It was a lesson learned the hard way, but one that he has stuck to throughout his life. Kane's story serves as a reminder that experimentation with substances can have unpredictable and often unpleasant consequences. It's always better to err on the side of caution and make informed decisions about what one puts into their body. Michael Caine's rise to fame began in the 1960s when he became a prominent figure in British cinema. The actor's career took off with his appearance in the film Zulu, where he played a memorable role that captured the attention of audiences. This was just the beginning for Caine, who went on to star in a series of successful films throughout the decade. In The Ipercress File, Caine played a suave and sophisticated spy a role that became a signature for him. His distinctive dress code, consisting of thick horn-rimmed glasses, sharp suits, and those laconic speech patterns, became his trademark and added to his charm and appeal. Kane's success continued with his role in The Italian Job, a classic heist film that showcased his talent for both action and comedy. His portrayal of a charming and cunning criminal was widely praised and further solidified his status as a leading man. The actor's career reached new heights with his role in Battle of Britain, a war film that depicted the historic battle between the Royal Air Force and the German Air Force. Kane's performance was once again met with critical acclaim, cementing his place as one of Britain's most beloved and respected actors. Throughout the 1960s, Michael Caine established himself as a force to be reckoned with in the film industry. His unique style and undeniable talent made him a household name and his contributions to British cinema continue to be celebrated to this day. Michael Caine's romantic life has been a subject of interest for many. His first marriage, which ended within two years, marked the beginning of romantic scandals for the actor. He was known for his love for women who were cute and exciting. The actor was so engrossed in his romantic pursuits that he didn't mind the tears shed over his romantic life. The film star was often surrounded by beautiful women, and his romantic exploits were the talk of the town. However, he was too busy living his life to pay attention to what the gossip columns had to say about him. The actor's romantic life was always in the limelight, but he never let it affect his work. 
Despite the scandals, the actor's love for women never wavered. He loved being in love, and was always on the lookout for his next romantic adventure. His romantic life was a roller coaster ride, but he wouldn't have it any other way. In conclusion, Michael Caine's romantic life was as exciting as his career in films. He was a man who loved women and wasn't afraid to show it. His romantic scandals only added to his charm, making him even more popular among his fans. Michael Caine, the renowned British actor, has had his fair share of romantic connections throughout his life. Some of the glamorous names that have been associated with him include Natalie Wood, Bianca Jagger, and a series of models. The actor, who was a prominent figure in the swinging 60s, seemed to have earned himself a reputation as a playboy. Natalie Wood, the American actress, was one of the first high-profile names linked to Kane. The two reportedly had a brief romance in the 1960s. Bianca Jagger, the Nicaraguan actress and socialite, was also rumored to have had a relationship with the actor during the same decade. In addition to these high-profile relationships, Kane was also known for his connections with a number of models. His womanizing reputation was quite remarkable for the time, and it seemed that the actor had a penchant for the glamorous and high-profile women of the era. Despite his reputation as a playboy, Kane has always been somewhat private about his personal life. He has been married to his wife, Shakira, since 1973, and the couple has two daughters together. Kane has often spoken about the importance of his family, and it is clear that they have always been a major part of his life. In the end, Michael Caine's romantic life has been just one aspect of his long and successful career. With numerous iconic roles and a lasting impact on the world of film, the actor has certainly left his mark on the industry. And while he may have had a reputation as a playboy in his younger years, it is clear that his family and personal life have always been of the utmost importance to him.